hey y'all what's up welcome back to another video um so currently i'm at the airport this is going to be the beginning of a vacation trip um i am on the way to montego bay jamaica and i was gonna wait to get there to tell y'all but why not um if you're wondering why i'm in uniform i am actually jump seating so i will be in a flight attendant jump seat going to Jamaica because it's just so many people on the standby list I don't think I would get on um, and the plane is only so big it has so many seats so I'm jump seating so that's why I'm in uniform well that's not the reason I'm in uniform because you can jump seat outside of uniform but I wanted to get my liquids in like my big liquids because I didn't put it in travel stuff I just didn't have time so that's the main reason I'm in uniform because I wanted to get my liquids through security if we're being honest so yeah so i'm sitting at the gate um not a lot of people are at the gate the gate agent isn't there yet it is currently i don't even know i think it's like eight almost eight something or eight something right now in the morning and i'm meeting my family there they're getting in later today and then my boyfriend gets in tomorrow so my birthday is in five days my sister's birthday is tomorrow so we are celebrating all day all week long all month long actually but anyways i will see you guys later i may go get me some coffee but i just want to be at the gate let the gate agent know i'm here so everything's good i checked in i did everything i needed to do on my end so yeah montego bay here we go so update I'm still in Atlanta. Um, it basically our flight is delayed, um, not because of weather, because Jamaica need to get their country together, <laughs> but because of the runway is basically there's construction happening on the runway in Jamaica, so obviously planes can't land if there's construction. So, yeah, I am just sitting here. Um, we basically had to board the plane. Thought everybody, everybody was on, bags were loaded, everything was good. And then they come and tell us this and now we have to deplane. So, everyone had to get off the plane and grab their items. So, it's not weather, it's just ultimately safety. So, um... Yeah, that's what's happening. Hey guys, so update. The runway in Jamaica is finally open, so we're about to start our boarding process again. Um, I'm just ready to get there. Like, I'm just ready to get there. I know delays happen for a reason, and you know, it's not our timing, it's God's timing. So I've just been trying to be patient, and I got tired at one point, but now I have a little bit more energy. And we are, that's the announcement. We're about to start boarding. So I'm going to talk to y'all later when I get to Jamaica. Hey, y'all. Good morning. <laughs> ah! Let me just give you guys an update on what has happened the last 24 hours. As you can see, I'm in my car. I'm not in Jamaica. Go figure. I was talking and not even recording. Wow. So, um, yeah, as I, as I was stating, I'm not in Jamaica, I'm in my car, and so much has happened in 24 hours. Long story short, I will give you guys the full description of what's going on, but long story short, I'm not going to Jamaica. Um, I'm over Jamaica, honestly, at this point. I'll give it another try, another day in life, if, God's, if, it, if it's in God's will for me to go there, honestly. So, the last update I gave you guys was that... We were about to start boarding which is very true so we walk up to the stand walk back up okay everybody's clapping Woo! people shouting yeah Woo! the crew came the captain came because we had our, our pilots timed out so basically they would be good going to jamaica but coming back they would be illegal to fly so in that situation you're already at a base just stay there we'll get new pilots kind of thing 
flight attendants, same situation. They just did. We have to get a new pilot, new pilots and new flight attendants. Cool, they came. So that's good. Everybody's whoo. About to start boarding. About to start. About to start pre boards. And they said. I don't know verbatim, but they said basically we can't, we have to stop boarding again. They just told us we can't board. The lady, everybody's like, man, like I'm going home at this point. Everybody's like, I'm going home. I want to go home. I want to go home. Cool. So I was just waiting it out. As a flight attendant, delays happen. I've been delayed numerous times. It doesn't affect me how it affects someone who doesn't, you know, who doesn't, who's not a flight attendant, someone who doesn't travel, travel as frequently, someone who may have children who are irritable. A little bit irritable just you know i have more patience so i was using that to my advantage so for me i was like okay you know we're gonna get to jamaica sooner sooner than later like it's cool i just need to get there like this has been a long day so um so i'm back home so i'm gonna just finish this talk in the car so the problem was that, I think I told y'all, the runway, they were doing construction work on the runway overnight or something. And in the midst of that, something went wrong, something safety related went wrong. And they couldn't, they, no airline could land the planes. It wasn't just my airline, it was no airline. No planes could leave, no planes could come because the runway wasn't safe. So I get that part of it. My thing is it's the middle of the summer. People travel to Jamaica from all over the world at the most high like this is the highest influx traveling to jamaica to the caribbean to these islands because people want to leave where they are and get some sun the beach you know culture all that good stuff so the fact that they are waiting until the middle of summer to do this and i understand sometimes when you've been putting things off so long you have to do it right then and there maybe that's the situation i don't know the details i don't know i don't know but it was just really bad for a country that depends on tourism. Like, that's how you all make your money, tourism. So, in addition to other things, but primarily it's tourism. So, it's just like, it was just crazy. People were getting tired. We had been there. We were the very first flight that was scheduled to leave Atlanta to Montego Bay. The very first flight. So, we had been there eight hours. The flight was delayed eight hours. Uh, my family, their flight ended up canceling they were in miami going to J jamaica their flight ended up canceling we all just came to a conclusion like let's just forget jamaica and let's just do miami they were already in miami they had been there all day everybody had been at the airport all day long my boyfriend literally went to work came back i was still at the airport so everyone had been at the airport all day long we were tired um so we just decided to just stay in miami even given the circumstances, my sister's birthday is today. So it's like, you don't want to be traveling on your birthday. You're already somewhere nice, you know, that has a beach. That's nice weather. Good food. Let's just come meet you there. So we're going to go to Miami today. Long st Oh, also, the flight ended up canceling after eight hours. We were the last ones to cancel. So the flight ended up canceling. They ended up boarding again a second time. We're almost done with the boarding process. Had to deplane again <laughs> I feel bad for them. I didn't get back on that plane because I'm like, child, let me get my refund from this hotel because I'm not going to Jamaica. This is this is just too much. So I was on the phone. It stopped boarding in the middle of them almost finishing boarding. And later I went home. We went to dinner last night, got some food. I checked and they had ended up canceling the flight. So those people, I know they were pissed. They had to be pissed. So yeah, um, we're just going to go to Miami for a few days. I did lose a day kind of sort of not really but you know all of this this is even for people that are not believers like this whole situation is kind of like have people like there's something we should we should not have been there we should not have been there yesterday and ultimately you have to find a way to see this is god's protection god is protecting us for something it's not seen we don't know what it is but this is there were so many signs yesterday delays 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 cancellations other people cancellations delays this was clearly it was not meant for us to go to jamaica and for us we didn't want to wait till today we said we're just not going to go at all and so it just wasn't in god's will for our life you know for yesterday 
and so take it for what it is you know people are still going there today but it's just like for us op for our families we're not we're just not gonna do it so that's the update guys um it is bittersweet honestly i was still processing it last night because for so long we didn't know what was going on for hours we didn't know what's going on and then it was just sudden like going not going going not going cancel we're not going to jamaica at all it was just so fast and you just have to kind of go with it and then when i took the time to actually process i'm not going to jamaica like we have been planning this for months you know it was hard but it just opened your eyes to so many other things like this is really not your like god for god knows the plans he has for you okay for god knows the plans not for kimberly knows for god knows the plans he has for you i'm about to go inside take a shower chill a little bit and then we are going to head to the airport to go to miami our rental car so we're headed directly to my sister's birthday dinner because we're just short on time and we won't have time to go check into our airbnb and then go to dinner so we're just going to go directly there i change at the airport so i have on a little dress from Mila's. i have my little bag my earrings my shades and i have on some wedges so um yeah we're headed to dinner I'm hungry, so it's perfect timing. And I'm excited to finally be meeting up with my family after all the craziness, all the delays, everything yesterday, it's just, it was a lot. So, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. The flight was great. And we're finally in Miami, so let's get this party started. Babe, you wanna say hi? Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> It is hot. Hot. Look at his face. No, really. He was outside maybe two minutes. All right, babe. Let's go. All right, guys. I'm going to check. y'all this was mila's five star dining if you're ever in miami baby you gotta go here but your bill might be 600 dollars like ours but it's okay that's the salmon this is octopus y'all never tried octopus in my life it was the best octopus that's the birthday girl right there happy birthday sis <laughs> Never mind. Okay, today, today is day two of vacation. So we are, we got in pretty late last night. Um, yeah, we got in pretty late. We got in pretty late last night. So we just got to the Airbnb, checked in, did everything we needed to do. But there's a little dilemma. 
We don't like our Airbnb at all. So this is, we're on the beach. So that's the beach. That's the pool. We are actually in Hollywood, Florida. So there was a little misunderstanding um, with booking and things like that. So we thought, you know, well, it was like, okay, we're not on South Beach, but it's not that far. So it's fine. <laughs> But once we got here, we actually were like, yeah, we don't like it. It wasn't the location we didn't like. The Airbnb is just not, it shouldn't be an Airbnb. It more so should need, needs to be where someone lives. Um, you may be like, oh, well, that's the point of an Airbnb for it to be like, you know, um, for it to be more like, so like a home, but this is more like no renovations, doesn't feel clean, sanitized, things like that. So we are leaving. We're actually packing up, getting ready to start our day. Um, I just didn't even do a tour because it's not tour worthy, okay? You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that's basically what we got going on. So we stay here for the night, obviously, because we wasn't, we didn't know where we would stay. It was just too much, it was too late and all that stuff, but it was cool while it lasted, but we're getting out of here. We have another hotel booked in South Beach, on the beach, which we're gonna go check in there later. And it also is where my brother and my sister and my nephew and brother-in-law, they're staying. So we'll be staying with them because they leave tomorrow. So we'll stay with them for one night and we're gonna hang out and things like that. So yeah, I'll insert some clips from my sister's birthday dinner last night. It was honestly like amazing. We went to Milas, um, which is in Miami. And it's a very, very high-end restaurant. I mean, like your plate doesn't sit at your table after you're done eating more than five minutes. It's like there's someone come and pick it up, replenish your water, utensils, everything. It's 10 out of 10, amazing experience. The ambiance is insane. You gotta have reservations. If not, you know, you ain't going in. You ain't getting in. There's a particular dress code, a very, very specific dress code. Um, it was just everything, honestly. It was everything, so. Uh, this is what I have on. I have on a little lavender halter, which I have some glasses that match, some green shorts, and my little sandals. So yeah, I may wear my hair down, my locks. We'll see though. Yeah, she's here with me. Yeah. Wanna act like you here by yourself, huh? So this is day, what day is this? Day three in Miami. We are, what are we about to do? We're about to do the Thriller Boat. So let me back up. My family just left to go back to Atlanta. So um, yeah, now we're just hanging out. Yesterday was fun. Yes. We had so much fun yesterday. We've kind of just been on go since we got here. Like. It's kind of starting to catch up with me. But we're about to do the Thriller Boat. 
if you're ever in Miami, it's kind of like a speedboat. Um, and it picks up on the Biscayne Boulevard area. So we just got here. We have like an hour to spare, right babe? Like an hour to spare. How about you drink your Starbucks? I might drink my Buckstar. Oh yeah, Buckstar. And then that's it. So I'll and insert- I'm going to Ross. Oh yeah, he's going to Ross. I'll insert footage of the speedboats. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, good luck guys. I'm, I'm scared. It's just the, I love water. It's just the fact that the boat goes so fast. Like that just, oh my gosh. And I'm about to have coffee. Oh, no, no. Ooh. Okay. Oh, this is my new watch. One of mm. one of my birthday gifts. Heard that one of my birthday gifts. I'm just kidding. Oh, let me see. I like it. It doesn't come on. <laughs> I don't think it works. <laughs> yeah, we got this yesterday. So... Anyways, I'm just talking. I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, guys, so this is on the Sunset Cruise. We had went home freshened up and went back out to this lovely cruise. Ooh, look at that fine guy. This is us just enjoying our time. This is like closing out the end of our trip. Child, we were singing. We had a few drinks. We had a great time. And this is Miami at nighttime, which was so beautiful to watch. Um, if you're ever in Miami, definitely consider the Sunset Cruise. Oh, at this point, look at him acting crazy. <laughs> at this point, it was time for us to leave. <laughs> but definitely recommend 10 out of 10. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm recording. And guess huh? this. They were on vacation. Oh. Kill me. <laughs> 